माय नेम इज सुश्वेत कुमार पांडे डेटा साइंस इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड सीएफओ क्वालिमी टुडेस प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन द कैपस्टोन प्रोजेक्ट एक्सप्लोरेटरी डेटा एनालिसिस ऑन अ होटल बुकिंग डेटा सेट वी विल एक्सप्लोर द डेटा सेट टू फाइंड आउट सम इनसाइट्स व्हिच मे बी हेल्पफुल फॉर टेकिंग यूजफुल बिजनेस डिसीजंस एंड वी विल आल्सो एनालाइज सम फाइंडिंग्स फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू हियर कम्स द एट्रिब्यूट इंफॉर्मेशन most of the column names are self explanatory but let's have a quick look at all of them so hotel contains the name of hotel is cancelled contains zero or one indicating whether the booking was cancelled or not it's a kind of boolean variable lead time is the time between reservation date and actual arrival date arrival date year arrival date month arrival date week number arrival date day of the month stays in week and nights stays in week nights these are in numbers there is number of week and nights and number of week nights stayed by the guest adults children babies these are also in numbers meal is the type of meal booked country is the name of country where the guest are coming from market segment distribution channel is the medium through which the booking was made is repeated guest is also a boolean variable yes or no type previous cancellation is also yes or no type indicated by 0 or 1 reserved room type is the type of room booked assigned room type the room allotted booking changes this is in number deposit type agent is the id of the travel agency that made the booking company is the name of the company that paid for the booking days in waiting list is the number of days the booking was in waiting list before it was actually confirmed to the customer customer type is the type of customer adr is the average daily rate and is defined as the average revenue that a hotel receives on daily basis required car parking spaces is the number of parking spaces required total of special request is in number reservation status and reservation status date these are the basic information about the data set so it contains 119390 rows and 32 features there are some missing values in these columns company agent country and children we removed the company column from the data set because more than 94% of the data was missing so there was no point of keeping this column into the data set for analysis and then for the children and agent column we replaced the null values with zero and for missing values in country column we replaced all the null values by the mode that is the most frequent value occurring in that particular column after that we started checking for outliers these data points outside the whiskers are representing the outliers we see some outliers in the lead time column stays in weekend nights stays in week nights adults children babies and these are the box plots for remaining features so after checking the outliers we started dealing with it firstly we removed the outliers in some discrete columns like children babies adults by defining some thresholds for example for the column like children we know that it is very uncommon for any guest to arrive with more than four child so we kept four as a threshold and any value in the children column which is greater than four we replaced it by four itself and then for the continuous columns we used standard iqr method and we replaced the outliers by the median values there were still some outliers left in some columns we just did percentile capping to treat them and these are the plots before the treating the outlier and these are the distribution and box plot before after treating the outlier so we see that earlier the lead time column the distribution of lead time was looking something like this and after we treated the outlier it became like this if we look at the box plot these many outliers were there after we treated them only few number of outliers are left and these are the comparisons of remaining features and these are the distribution and box plot before and these are distribution and box plot after treating the outlier so this is for arrival date week number stays in weekend nights stays in week nights adult children babies previous cancellations previous bookings not cancelled booking changes stays in days in waiting list adr we see that the distribution of average daily rate was very much pointed earlier and there was an outlier lying outside here after we treated the outlier the distribution became close to normal distribution and 
we see that this outlier which was lying outside is no longer available here. And this is for required car parking spaces. After treating the outliers, we did some data manipulation. First of all, we dropped all the duplicate rows from the data set, and then we did some feature engineering. We created a column named same room to indicate whether the customer's preferred room is allotted or not. It's a kind of Boolean variable. And then total children by adding children and babies, total members by adding total children and adults, total nights by adding stays in weekend nights and stays in week nights. Money per person. We multiplied average daily rate with total nights and divided the result by total members. And that will give us money spent per person. Guest type to categorize the guest into single couple or family based on total number of members arrived. Lead time category to categorize the lead time into low, medium or high based on the number of days. So after the feature engineering, we started with univariate analysis. We have plotted all the discrete features, but we'll only look at the key features which are actually useful for taking some decisions. So more than 60% of the bookings are off city hotel that is shown here. Only less number of bookings are in the resort hotel. And nearly one third of the bookings are canceled. That is shown in this second plot. And from this plot, we see that there was an annual rise of 218.5% in the year 2016. But then again, in the next year, that is in 2017, it dropped down by approximately 25%. And this plot shows that August is the month with highest number of bookings, followed by July. And most of the bookings are of two adults, that is shown by this green bar. And most preferred meal is the bed and breakfast. Most of the people are coming through online. Most the top distribution channel is TATO, and most of the people are not repeated. Only a few number of people, approximately 4% of the people are actually repeated. And most of the people do not have any history of previous cancellation. These plots show that room type A is the most preferred room type. And most of the people do not make any changes to their booking. But there are still some people who make at least one or two booking changes. Most of the people do not deposit any amount that is shown by this third plot and this shows that most of the people do not require any car parking space there are approximately eight percent of the people who do require at least one car parking space from these plots we can visualize around 15 percent of the guests are not assigned with their preferred room that is shown in this plot most of the time people are assigned with their preferred room, but approximately 15% of the people are not assigned with their preferred room. Around 10% of the guests arrive with children. Around 90% of the people, that is most of the people do not arrive with any child. And at least two people arrive more than 80% of the times that is shown by this plot. And most of the guests are couples, and this shows almost equal distribution among low, medium, and high for lead time category. After univariate analysis, we started comparing all the features uh, hotel-wise. So this plot, we already saw that city hotel has higher number of bookings as compared to the resort hotel. And this shows that cancellation percent of city hotel is slightly more than resort hotel. So if we look at the city hotel, the cancellation percent is approximately 40%, while for the resort hotel, it's approximately 30%. And this shows that city hotel was leading in the year 2015 in terms of bookings. But for the next two years, the resort hotel was leading in the year 2015. You see that this blue bar is high. And this plot shows that in all the months, City Hotel has comparatively higher number of bookings. And this shows that people who stay for more than four nights prefer resort hotel the most. If you look at this, these two plots, if the number of 
week nights and number of stays in weekend nights is more than four these uh, blue bars are high that means people are preferring resort hotel if they want to stay longer and this shows that people who prefer half board meal plan that is bread and evening meals included also prefer resort hotel the most that is shown by this bar this blue bar is high in this plot and resort hotel is leading in the direct marketing while when it comes to online market online marketing city hotel is leading and resort hotel is lagging by a huge margin and people who require car parking space also prefer resort hotel the most that is shown in this plot and rest in all the cases city hotel is leading in terms of bookings and city hotel assigns the same room as reserved by guest most of the time while resort hotel fails to do so for more than 25% of the time if we look at this plot this second plot if we look at this orange bar the ratio is if uh, the percent of uh, having not assigned the same room to the guest is very very low for the city hotel but when it comes to resort hotel it's approximately 25% which is comparatively a large and then we did by weight analysis we just try to find out the reasons for cancellation so most of the bookings are cancelled where there was no deposit made but we cannot say that this is a valid reason for cancellation because we see that most of the people are not actually making any deposit and then this shows a lead time category versus is cancelled so if the lead time is low then there are less chances of booking being cancelled but if it is medium or high that is if it is more than 15 days then there are high chances of that booking being cancelled and not having assigned the same room is also not a valid reason for cancellation because if, if we look at this plot only 0.71% of the people have cancelled their bookings when their preferred room was not allotted to them this shows market segment analysis so more than 30% of the online bookings are cancelled if we join these two green bars this one is the 30% of the total so 30% of the online bookings are cancelled but direct marketing has comparatively the percent of cancelled bookings is less as compared to the online this shows the relation between total nights versus money per person so money spent per person is directly proportional to the total night stayed which is quite obvious as well and this shows the relation between total members versus total of special request it does not shows a clear picture let's try to visualize the same thing in the correlation heat map in the next slide so first of all let's try to find out the reasons for cancellation so we see that this is cancelled variable is fairly correlated with lead time that we already saw that if the lead time is medium or high then there are high chances of booking being cancelled and then it is also fairly correlated with previous cancellation if the customer has any record of previous booking cancellation then there are some chances that he may cancel this booking as well and then it is also related with average daily revenue if the average daily revenue of the hotel increases that means the hotel is charging more from their customers then there are some chances that the booking will be cancelled and it is also related with required car parking spaces total members money spent per person which is obvious as well if the money spent per person increases then booking may get cancelled and let's try to find out another thing which is if we were to predict the total of special request what can be the independent variables so this feature is fairly correlated with is cancelled and then adults obviously if the number of adults are increasing then total of special request may increase average daily revenue so i would say that the vice versa is true in this case because if the total of special request increases the average daily revenue of the hotel will increase in spite of saying that average daily revenue increase 
will increase the total of special request and then it is also related with total members arriving which is also obvious and these show some high correlation in between some features and that is because we created some new features based on existing features and we have not dropped the features which were present earlier afterwards so that is the reason these are the high correlations these are the points that we already discussed and let's look at the next thing which is multivariate analysis so this is average daily rate versus arrival date for both the hotels so average daily revenue rises from january to august and that is correct and then it falls from august to december and resort hotel leads in average daily rate during the peak months only that is july and august rest in all the months we see that city hotel is leading and april to september is the semester with higher average daily revenue for both the hotels that is also correct and for remaining months it is quite low comparatively and from this second plot we see that average daily revenue for resort hotel is directly proportional to the total number of members arriving that is also correct if you look at the this uh, blue bar it is continuously increasing but if we look at these orange bars it increases and then it gradually drops down which means that if the total number of members are more than 4 the city hotel is providing some kind of offers because the average daily revenue of the hotel is uh, going down drastically so and this now let's try to find out the best time to book the hotel so if we look at this uh, money spent per person versus arrival month so it is very very low in the month of january and this is for resort hotel if we look at the city hotel is not going down very much it is almost showing constant throughout the year but still in the month of january december november and feb march uh, the money spent per person is comparatively low as compared to the other months and this also shows the same thing this is average daily rate versus arrival month so it is also average daily revenue of the hotel also drops down in the month of november january feb and march so we we can say that january is the month where uh, it is uh, good for the customers to book the hotel in this month so these are some additional checks on the data set so average time taken for the customers arrival after making the reservation is 77 days that means people made their booking approximately 2 and a half months prior and average nights spent by the visitors is 3 nights average money spent by visitors is 186 bucks agents with most number of bookings are these these are the top 5 agents and these are their number of bookings and these are the top 5 countries where the most of the visitors are coming from so portugal great britain france spain and let's see the rest things so these are the conclusions based on univariate bivariate and multivariate analysis so top hotel is the city hotel top meal is bread and breakfast the top agent is agent number 9 top room is room type a and one out of every three bookings are cancelled people prefer to do more in august and most preferred meal is bread and breakfast online market segment is the best way to attract the customers people do not pre deposit the money and only 10% of the people require car parking space most of the visitors are couples resort hotel is preferred for longer stays daytime stays and when the parking space is needed and rest in all the cases we saw from the plots that city hotel was leading and more than 15 days in advance booking have higher chances of cancellation that we also saw from the univariate analysis that if the lead time is low then there are there is very less chance of that booking being cancelled but if it is greater than 15 days then there are high chances of cancellation and assigning different room is not a reason for cancellation 
direct booking have very less cancellation percent online market segment has a very high cancellation percent and best time to book the hotel is in the month of january average days in advance booking is 77 days that is approximately two and a half months average night spent by the visitors is three nights most of the visitors are from these countries portugal britain france spain and germany total special request and revenue depends more on total members right that is also correct that we saw from the correlation heat map so all right ladies and gentlemen that's all from my end i hope you got some high level idea about hotel booking data exploration and i hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day Bye now.